Faith gives me hope. It makes me believe there truly is a God that watches out for me, not only me, but everyone in this world beyond. When I first moved to Maryland a few years ago, I felt a strong connection to God. I asked my mom if we could find a church that suited our family, and then we did. I even wrote pages of the Bible at night. Finally, God led my family to Prince of Peace with the church. We had been to church for anything besides holidays for a year or two, but then we did on Sunday. I had faith in the fine church that was right for us, and when we did, it made me feel even more connected to God. I think the reason why I wanted to go to church so badly is because I was being alone, and I knew God would be there for me during hard times of loneliness, friendless, and confusion in new surroundings. I had faith He would be there for me, and He was. Being a Christian is important to me. I often look to God for not answers, but for hope. He gives me hope that everything will turn out okay. He gives me hope that my sins will be forgiven. He gives me hope knowing that everybody makes mistakes and I'm not the only one. A memory from when I was younger was a mother holding her rosary in her hands and praying in hope that everything would turn out okay. She would hold it while we're in the car sometimes, and my father was driving poorly with the kids in the back. He's a better driver since then. Being a Christian is to never hold a grudge and to always forgive no matter the sin, even though it may take time. I was taught this lesson in confirmation class. There's a backpack example. One person would run with night textbooks in their bag, and a different person would run with an empty backpack and they embrace each other. The question was, who would win the race? The answer is clearly the person with less weight. This relates to never holding grudges because if you hold a grudge, you're only hurting yourself with the extra unnecessary weight on your shoulders. I had a thought of this in my life, like when I got advice from my friends. I took deep breaths and forgave them and had faith they would, they would repeat their mistakes more times. I also had faith that when I messed up, I'd be forgiven by my friends or family or just anyone. If I didn't have God or faith in my life, life would be much harder. I often would not know what to do because God helps me with my journey through life and it gives me faith I need to get through the day.
I play soccer for school and outside of school. I love it. I feel soccer has become a safe place for me. Just being out there and giving your all is something that can take my mind off any problem and just let me release. A soccer field is a special place for me. It grounds me and puts my thoughts in perspective. When I play soccer, I play for a team and I'm part of something bigger and better than myself. When I sat down to write this paper, I had no idea what to say. I looked over on the floor and I saw my soccer ball. Then I realized that so much of what soccer means to me are the same things that God does. To believe in God is to believe that the ball will go into the net, that you can connect a pass. It doesn't always happen like you planned, but God acting in your life doesn't either. Playing for a team, being a part of something bigger, is like being a Christian, being able to rely on each other to help spread God's word and go do good deeds. Out of my group of friends, I'm the only religious one. Often, I didn't notice, but I would always wonder what it would be like not to believe in God. My whole life, I've been told to believe in God. My grandpa would read me Bible passages when he picked me up from school. I wondered what it would be like not to have any of that. When I wrote this, we'd been having like a lot of rainy weather. Um, so I missed two games and had two practices canceled. I was complaining to a friend that we couldn't have a game, and she said she was happy because she was tired. This is perfectly reasonable, but I remember wondering how she could be happy. I felt a loss when we couldn't play. I was even upset about the canceled practice. I guess what I'm saying is that there's a lot about my friends I don't understand. On the outside, you're almost exactly alike, but they, on the inside, it is almost impossible to tell. I think God is like that. God is someone we all know, but to every one of us, he is different. I think that being a Christian is a lot like being on a team. You have at least one common thing that binds you, and you like it a varied amount. You show up to practice at least once a week, and you've got some coaches to help you along the way. We've all got different reasons we're here, and different things to do after. But for the span of about an hour, we're all united in one place, doing something we feel called to do. We as a community are in this together, and I'm prepared to play until my soul goes.